you doing? My name is John and welcome back to another Star Wars review. In this review I'll be going over the Star Wars Episode 1 cinema scenes. There are three of them that Hasbro released in 1999. I think they're all really cool looking uh, sets. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's take a closer look. Okay Star Wars fans, so this is the first one I have. This is Most Espa Encounter. It came out in 1999. New figures talk with the contact. You have that chip. And you can uh, wave it against your contact reader and it will say lines from the movie, which is really neat. Uh, the artwork matches the Episode 1 artwork with Darth Maul, the red, burst. Uh, a lot of the whole line of Episode 1 really matched this. Uh, these retail for about $19.99. I got this on clearance at Target, I believe, for $19, or, I'm sorry, $11.90. So it wasn't too bad. Get them on clearance for sure. Uh, and then this is what you have. You have uh, Sebulba. He has like some kind of food or or fish kind of thing you know the scene you had judge our being to anakin so this is the scene where there's the encounter where uh that that food kind of hits the and you know he's all pissed and you get the background here which is really neat i like the way they displayed everything okay on the side here you have uh just the name of this cinema scene in the back you have a picture of uh, Anakin talking to Sebulba and a little blur, a paragraph of what happened in this particular scene. They got the contact reader. He says, Jessica Sebulba. And then just uh, Sebulba talking back and forth. And he said, do, do nothing wrong. It's Jar Jar Binks and talking, whatever. Uh, and then you've got uh, other figures uh, released in the set. So you can, you can mark them off. They're all numbered. You can join the, the fan club. Uh, Hasbro, 1999. You got 20 Jedi Master Points, proof of purchase. But I really like this set, in particular set. I think they did a really great job. You can see the attention detail, and they even have a stand uh, that you can, you know, hold. They can actually stand on as well. These are pretty much repacks of the other uh, figure that Blue Cell Bobo was available in his um, ship as well. His vehicle, and this is Jar Jar Binks and Anakin. They were both available, and uh, as normal card figures, I think there might the sculpt might be a little bit different. I don't think Anakin, you can see, is kind of pointing. I don't think he necessarily. This is a kind of a different sculpt. Uh, knees don't bend or anything like that. Not very art articulate as far as the way they move. This is the next, the next one. This is Tantooine Showdown. You got Darth Maul, Qui Gon Jinn, and again you got Anakin. You can see Anakin's a little bit different sculpt. Than uh, previously before, he's got a backpack now. He's wearing a Kwai Kwan Jin. Uh, he's got the poncho, which is uh, unique to the set. He also got Darth Maul, and he's got this poncho, and it's unique. And you can see that uh, it kind of looks like the, the wind, the way it's blown back. It's really cool. I think they did a great job. You got the Comtech. It's in the top right corner this time instead of top left, as I just showed you in the previous uh, cinema scene. And this is where they're about to turn Tantooine, about to take off. Really cool looking figures. On the back, here's a picture of the scene. And it can drop, go, lighter, battle sounds. Doesn't say tell them to take off. That's interesting, it's not on there. Contact. The set is actually, it's in the scene, is a little bit heavier than the previous one I showed you. And again, they have the diorama in the background, picture of Pantoine, and you can have a stand here included as well. This is the last set of the Sim Scenes for Episode 1. And this is Watto's box. This one is the most rare of the three, and probably my favorite of the three. And this is them watching the pod race. You've got Watto standing here. You've also got a character called Shaka, with two Ks. And you got Gro Groxkull. Kel Kelvin, Russell Kelvin, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he is a huge figure. You can see he's sitting down, very tall. They both have seats. They all have seats. Well, Watto's standing on his seat, but this is an exclusive figure. Two of these are only available in this set, so this is the largest figure up until this point, and he's probably one of the tallest figures in the line even today. He's very tall, very cool. You can look at the attention to detail. He's got the cloth clothing there. That's really cool. And then you got Shaka. Okay. And she, her legs bend and everything. All their legs bend, which is cool. She's very art, you know, movable, I should say. But Watto is just a repack of the Watto you get in the standard three and three quarter inch figure card. You've got the Comtech reader here with, with this image there. 
sides are the same. On the back, you've got the line saying, the boy is good, but the Nubian ship will be mine, belong to me. And then Grox told Calvin, nobody beats the bubble. I put 50,000 on him to win. I don't remember him talking in the movie. I have to see episode one. I don't remember that guy talking, but there's a, there's a scene. Okay. There's Warwick Davis right there. But, uh, very cool. Definitely one of my favorite episode one sets to have. And again, this is one of the more uncommon sets to find. Thanks for watching, guys, and may the force be with you. Take care.